Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura Sherell, the founder of Balance Bombshells, and I'm so excited to be getting into how we can get our gut health tested at home. So first I wanna give a huge thank you to our sponsor, Thrive, who is a at-home gut health testing company. And thank you so much for sponsoring this video because we need products like these that we can just understand our gut health from an individual level. Um, so I'm going to be getting a little bit more into Thrive later on in the video, but I am going to be doing this test today and I wanted to kind of just do a quick walkthrough of what that the process is like. And then I'm also going to be sharing with you what my results are and then what kind of protocol they put me on. So when I first learned about Thrive, I was really excited because you know me, I'm really into gut health. I'm really into making sure that we have no inflammation, um, making sure that the foods we were eating aren't causing any sort of sensitivity to our digestion. A lot of these things can impact our, our, our hormonal health because our hormones are made in our stomach. And then I might sound like a broken record, but you I might have heard me say it before, if your mood is off, your microbiome is off, which means your gut health. So our mood is directly tied to how our gut is functioning. So it's called the second brain for a reason. So I'm just so excited to be able to help you guys have a resource where you can figure out the state of your gut health and then any changes you need to make in your food um, thrive. And what I've loved about them is that they, after your, you take your test, they will give you a, you can actually get like a personalized probiotic made based on your results, which I have never seen before. I feel like I've just been a schmuck and buying probiotics off the shelf based off my own research. And now to be able to have something completely tied to what my gut is going through and like what I might need additional assistance on, we get the results we want when we have that customization in our health. So thank you Thrive for what you are out there doing in the world. Um, and I'm just so excited to share with you guys how to do this test. And we also have a little kitty friend, Lacey, who is joining us today. Okay, so first, if you've never done something at home before, when you get these kits, they're, it's pretty straightforward. It's like as easy as one, two, three. They only have three steps. So the first is to activate your kit. So on here, there's a website that you'll be able to visit on how to actually activate your kit. And there's a code here and I'm just hiding it because it will be my own personalized health records that I will be doing. So I'm actually like not showing you the ID, but you will have your own personalized ID that you will then enter into um, the activation page to then of course tie your results to your profile. So then inside the kit, you also have the collect box and the send box. So first, when you're going to take your sample, you take out the collect box, and this is how you're actually gonna take your sample. So if you've seen some of my videos before, um, I have done at-home hormone testing, and that was all through a blood sample. This one is through a fecal sample. So it's taking me a little bit from when I got this in the mail to actually do it, because I just had to wrap my brain around it. So basically there is a swab and a vial in the collect kit. And you basically, when you go to the bathroom, you wipe like normal. When you go number two, if we need to also be clear about that, you then take the swab and you wipe a sample off of it and put it in the vial. You swish it around. This says, there's all instructions here too. So if you're like, Laura, I'm confused. There's all instructions right here. And you vigorously like rub it around for 20 seconds in the collected collection tube. And then you close it, you shake it for five seconds. And then that's essentially how you take your sample to then be sent to the lab to get it tested. So then you take out box number three and then you put your sample in here and they have like a little bag that you can put it in and then also your send instructions. So everything's very straightforward on how to do this. And then if you're in the United States, they have paid shipping for you. So if you're outside of the United States, you're gonna have to look into what your carrier will provide or not. But I live in the US, so this came with a addressed label that I can just drop into the mail and I don't even have to pay for extra shipping or anything. Um, so I'm gonna be getting that in the mail before I go on vacation because I want to be able to get my results when I come home from vacation. So it takes about two to three weeks to get your results back and then you will get it in your portal from where you activate your um, kit and you'll get an email when your results are ready. But what I'm really anxiously awaiting is what those results 
will tell me <laughs> because they're going to give me a personalized um, food plan of any foods that I should be eating or should be avoiding for my own gut health. Um, you guys might have watched my videos before where you know I have a lot of food sensitivities. So I don't eat gluten, soy, dairy, those things my stomach just doesn't like. It screws up my digestion. It makes me feel more bloated. I definitely have more period problems. My skin breaks out. Like it's just not great. And those are very much tied to gut health. So I'm really curious to any other foods that I should either be consuming more of or avoiding. So, you know, just knowing of how to navigate food, I think is really helpful. And to be able to get that insight from testing things like our gut, I think is really helpful. And then they will then help set me up on a probiotic plan with a personalized probiotic made just for me based on my results. Like, honestly, guys, I'm like completely geeking out about it. And that's why I was really excited to share this information with you because I haven't seen a company that will help make personalized probiotics that way. I've seen some companies that will make a personalized um, supplement based off a quiz that you can take online, um, which I also think is really cool. So if you guys want information on that, just definitely let me know. But to be able to test our gut, I don't think I can like reiterate enough because there's a lot of women in our community that are suffering from energy, from like low energy, from not sleeping as well, from mood issues and everything stems from our stomach. I have done, I feel like sometimes I've done like a complete overhaul in my stomach. I have a lot of resources for you if you want to learn on optimizing your gut health through food as well and any lifestyle changes you might need to take. But I honestly wish I knew about Thrive or I you know, I wish I knew about you before I like got started with doing everything because I feel like it would have just made everything so much easier. Um, so next up in this video it are my results. Okay, we are back. I have officially gotten my gut health tested. It came in the mail and I'm really so excited to share the results with you guys. So the results took about two weeks. I went on vacation and by the time I got home, I got an email saying that my results were back. So I'm gonna just share with you guys real quick my dashboard so you can see what it looks like and I'm just gonna walk you through it. So this is inside my dashboard and you can see they give you a gut health score right here. So it's saying that, you know, your gut is in, going in the right direction, but needs some work, which I feel like is pre pretty good. Um, especially before doing something like this, my gut health was fine, but I could tell it obviously needed a little bit extra TLC. And that can just become, you know, based off of not knowing this stuff, you know, um, but also take things with a grain of salt. So up here, it says that you might have like high constipation levels and that actually hasn't been the case for me. And then I'll show you quickly down here. Um, they give you a symptom likeliness. And so I was, when I took the test, I was struggling with like a lack of sleep quality. I was working through my adrenal health. I could tell I wasn't sleeping as well before I went on vacation. Um, and, but I, my skin has been fine. I have not been constipated and I have not been bloated. So definitely take it as a grain of salt if it's telling you what symptoms you might have. And you can even see right here, it says your symptom likeliness and it says nine potential symptoms such as. So potential potential, meaning you might not have them. But this was interesting. So my bacteria level, you can see that 20% was optimal and then 80% needs work. Um, I still take it with a grain of salt because I feel like my gut health has been pretty good. But I was looking for ways to be sleeping better. Um, one of the symptoms they said I might be having was higher levels of anxiety, which I definitely felt. So our gut health is 100% connected to our emotions. So if you're feeling overwhelmed or anxious, it might not actually be that you are truly feeling like that. It just might be something at the bacteria and the gut level that might be causing you to feel that way. So what I really like about Thrive's dashboard is you can order your personalized probiotics, which I'll talk about in a minute, because I did decide to do that. And I've been taking them now for almost four weeks. Um, and I'll tell you my experience with that. But I really loved diving into the personalized food plan. So I'm going to show you, they give you, they gave me, you know, 89 foods to eat based on my gut health test and then 91 foods to avoid. That's obviously a lot. I was just kind of like, okay, what do I actually need to focus on? And what I really liked is that they give you their top recommendations. So for 
and you can kind of see like food recommendations. You have a tab for recommended and then a tab to avoid. So then this is a personalized food list that's now customized for me. So my top five vegetables that I can be focusing on are these five. So I have been trying to eat, you know, do more celery juicing, which I was really into during pregnancy and even like before getting pregnant. And then I kind of fell off because I got really sick of juicing. But now I'm like, okay, cool. Celery is really good for me. I've been trying to put, you know, celery in smoothies. I don't always like snacking on it, but just finding ways that work for my own preferences. And then I love grilled asparagus. So I've been trying to buy that more. And then I've been sipping on more chicory tea. Um, I can certainly eat chicory, but I like to have it in a tea format and then trying to find also wild garlic. Um, and then I can click on, okay, what other vegetables should I be eating? And this is all tailored to your gut bacteria. So you can see right here, they're saying like, okay, if I have more chicory, it's gonna increase these other strands. And then you can click on see more and then it walks you through all the other bacteria strands that this specific food can help me increase. So that's gonna promote better gut health by focusing my food a little bit more strategically. And then I can go down here from like meal planning. Like, so I eat a lot of spinach. I do a lot of Brussels sprouts. I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, but it's like, okay, maybe I can start trying to incorporate them more. I really like cauliflower. So you can kind of just see all of these vegetables that I can look at and start like meal planning and meal prepping with. Um, I tried eating more cabbage <laughs> um, because it was on here and I'm not like a cabbage fan. So I ended up like steaming it and I made it with some sausage and it was actually like really nice. And then of course, beets are on mine. I feel so good when I have beets. So what I found really interesting about this too was all of the foods that I actually gravitate towards because they make me feel really good. I can tell my digestion's good, my energy's good. I can tell like certain benefits that the foods give me. So like, I really love beets and I really love pumpkin. Um, we're on these lists. And in a minute, I'm gonna show you the foods to avoid. So this was just vegetables. And as you can see here, when you scroll down, they'll then tell you, okay, your top fruits and berries that you should be focusing on for your gut health. Um, I had one top legume, so it was just green lentils. So I went and bought, um, I really like green lentils in a pasta form. So then I can feel like I'm eating pasta because I'm gluten-free. I actually haven't been able to eat gluten for almost 10 years. So being able to find other products that now are really gonna support my health, but also make me feel like I can indulge in pasta, um, I feel like is a win-win. And then certain nuts and seeds. So I also do seed cycling. So sesame seeds and sunflower seeds are, I can tell really beneficial for me because they help increase progesterone, which is a hormone that I usually have to work at. So these are something that I grind up and put in smoothies anyway during my luteal phase. So it's interesting that they also shut up on my gut health test. And then poultry, I always feel really good eating turkey. Like I gravitate towards buying turkey at the store where Tyler doesn't eat it as much. So it ends up me being more me. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing quail because I know you typically have to buy like the whole bird and I don't think I have the patience for that. But then also looking at my top list for seafoods and then my top list for herbs and spices, which I love cilantro, I love basil, dandelion, I end up um, eating in a tea or drinking in a tea. And then, you know, I can certainly buy, find more chives. So that was really cool to just kind of tune into of things that I love anyway were on this list because they make me feel really good. So now let's go through the avoid list. So some of these were really sad because I really like sweet potato, but I remember when I met with a naturopath, she was like, you might have an allergy to potatoes. And cause we were kind of talking about things. So they don't always make me feel the best. So I actually eat them in very moderate doses. So it was interesting that it then showed them on my gut health test of not actually being one of my favorable um, vegetables based on how I'm then feeling. So you can even take a minute to think of like, are there foods that don't necessarily make me feel good or I naturally eat on a very moderate basis anyway, and it, it might show up in your gut health test. So I just found that really fascinating. I do really love butternut squash, so that was kind of sad. I love kiwi, I love pineapple, but I actually don't eat them all the time. So I'm again gonna take this with a grain of salt. I see that, okay, these are fruits that I'm gonna have in moderate doses. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna have them every day like I might some other foods, um, but just looking at it and being like, you can still enjoy it but making sure that they're not like the prominent thing in my diet. So another, so when we come to the meats, I don't eat too much beef. Um, I find it really hard to digest. I can just always tell it just kind of sits in my stomach. And if I do eat it, I can tell that it takes me like 
a week to kind of come back to what I would feel as I could consider it as normal. So it makes me feel tired. It does make me feel bloated. It definitely throws up my bowel movements. So I actually don't eat too much red meat. And it's fascinating that it showed up on my gut health test of like, oh, you should be avoiding steak, beef, veal is, you know, derived from red meat. So it's just, it was crazy. Then this was a little bit sad because I do eat a lot of eggs, but it's showing that it's not as great in my gut. And then in terms of like chicken, if I'm going to do like chicken versus like turkey, I always actually like turkey better. So again, I'm still going to eat eggs. I'm still going to just be more mindful of these foods and how it works with my gut. And then looking at some other like fishes. So like, I don't actually eat trout. I don't eat catfish. I would eat tilapia. I don't do shellfish. So it's not like that bad. And then I have not, I don't eat dairy either. So I have a da uh, sensitivity to gluten and dairy and milk and goat's milk showed up. That isn't good for my gut. So I also found that even some of the food allergies that I don't actually eat still showed up in my um, results of things that I should not be consuming. And so the same here goes with like a barley, bulgur wheat, oats. I do buy gluten-free oats, but I can definitely tell that even sometimes on the gluten-free one, it doesn't necessarily make me feel good. So it's really fascinating to understand, okay, how you emotionally feel when you eat foods is 100% targeted to what's going on in your gut health. And I actually really loved doing this experiment for myself because it just it hit it spot on and now we actually have like the data to back it up so i found that really fascinating like i also shouldn't be eating these things which i don't normally so what's interesting here is like okay they're saying barley isn't good for me so by avoiding it it'll actually help increase these types of um bacteria strands in my gut so it's interesting to be able to know like okay by not eating these i'm actually also going to be promoting good gut health by increasing the good bacteria strands that i need so again if you wanted to dive deeper i can go into all of my recommended vegetables that i should avoid and it breaks it down right here so these are basically a lot more like squashes potatoes um Man, onions is on here. I eat a lot of onions sometimes too. So, but as you can see, it's a lot of potatoes, which I don't feel great on anyway. So the food list was really like spot on in terms of like just being able to give you a little bit more like strategy. So then I did go through after doing this and I did order the personalized probiotics. So right in your dashboard, you can order probiotics and you can do it either on a monthly plan or a three month plan. I actually did the three month because it, you got like a little bit money off and then it averaged out what I was already paying on probiotics anyway. And I just love that they then personalize the probiotics for me which honestly guys I have never seen another company do that so I've seen other companies that will might personalize your supplements based on what you need but in terms of gut health like if you're going to start somewhere your gut health is where you want to go so this is a little package that they sent in the mail of the three month supply so it's super cute it has like a gut fact I also love cheeky marketing so like anytime you're like opening this and like look how cute that display is so then you have month one month two month three I'm still on the month one um bottle but it is two capsules a day so i do it in the morning around breakfast and then on the supplement list it is all the bacteria strands that you really needed to increase to promote more gut health so i had already been working on my sleep anyway which i did by resetting my adrenal glands and i do that a lot through food a lot through fitness and a lot through um, some lifestyle changes and like specific herbs that i would need but this is also a hundred billion cfus which is the bacteria strands in your supplement so if i was then buying one off the shelf that had about 50 billion so this is even increased of like what i would then need for my bacteria um, strands and then it gives my gut everything that i need based on my results so what i plan on doing is doing this for about six months and then going back and retesting and then seeing does my probiotic then need to change? So I also like that you can monitor your health in this way and keep making those tweaks based on where you are. So it might be something where like you don't need all these strands all the time, but maybe you then need that to be able to boost your gut health into where you need to be. Um, I did notice that one of the symptoms for me I mentioned was like higher levels of anxiety. I did notice that my mood also improved a bit where I was feeling a little bit more calm 
certainly I think working on her mindset too, but I could tell that I was, you know, thinking more clearly. I wasn't having as much fatigue. Um, that obviously helps from sleeping better, but I did notice a difference within about a week of taking these that I did notice that I didn't, I wasn't having the same, um, severity of symptoms. And now that I've been focusing more on the food, you know, these protocols can take a couple weeks to a couple months to really kick in, but I think just to be able to know that it felt better within like a week. And then I was a little nervous on this because it, these strands are made off like soy and milk, which I don't do well with, but I have taken other supplements before when I was working with my naturopath that were derived off of milk products, or I had a few skin breakouts for about maybe a week as my body was adjusting to it. And even my naturopath was like, oh, I haven't heard of anyone complaining about any sort of like severity with supplements because it's such like a small amount of like trace like materials um i just noticed for myself and i just wanted to share that with you guys that if you are sensitive to you know milk products that your body might take a little bit to adapt and it is really small and i did notice a few breakouts when i first started taking it but, but the same thing from when i was working with my naturopath where my body regulated within a week and i no longer had those breakouts and the same thing happened with this so i actually feel comfortable taking it because like i have not been having i know the symptoms for me for dairy is like having um, more constipation then maybe turning into diarrhea having more bloating having more skin issues and I haven't been having that so I want to share that too with you in case you have any sort of sensitivities because I was a little nervous on taking these based on how the products are derived but I knew I really was trying to trust the process and I was like if this is made for my gut and it's made for what my body can handle and I felt good taking it. So definitely did notice like a few breakouts for a few days after I first started, but they definitely leveled out and it made me feel better about, um, just trusting the process. You know, sometimes we have to do that. Um, but if you would like to get your gut health tested, I have, if you click the link in the description box, you can get 50% off your gut health. And then I'm just so excited to hear if you guys end up testing your gut as well. And if you decide to do the personalized probiotic, which I think is such a game changer in how we manage our health. But thank you so much for joining me today on this video. And if you have any questions, please drop them below and I'm here for you.